what about modern military fiction? Do you read Peter Singer? Did you read 2034? Have you read I, 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 Tom Clancy type stuff? Absolutely. Um, uh, there's a, 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 I'm a big fan of Peter Singer's work, 2034, um, The Ghost Fleet. No, you know, novel. I, I, again, it's not that you have to. I, I think if people tear that apart and go, well, that wouldn't happen. I think you're missing a larger point: is that in both those novels, people are postulating a, a way that, God forbid, a conflict with China could come about, what they could bring to bear, and and I think the relevance of that is that. I still see that collide with military thinking today, where I'm afraid we're not being creative enough to what an adversary could do to us, and and also being hopefully candid with senior leadership um, of of where we as a military might need to quickly change and adapt to be ready for a, a God forbid a future conflict like that, um, because our our adversaries are serious about this. I mean, they are deadly serious. This is you know they're not messing about. Um, and it's not that we're not serious, but but uh, I just, I hope that people, uh, I, I, I would love to tear those novels apart and say, well, why, what couldn't this happen? What, what, what if it did? What would that look for? I, I hope people are having those discussions meaningfully with then meaningful thought put, put behind uh, where should we be going? Um, I, I we, we can, as a military, have the process to be so wed to our processes and timelines that my fear is that we, we can be a day late, dollar short. You know, we, we've, our history at being ready for the next war is not a good one. Um, and the next war might be such that you don't have a whole lot of rebound time to recover. So that's, so yeah, I hope these thought experiments, if nothing else, what they are, are stimulating people not just to think about things differently, but to act on it. 